stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today we're going to have some fun with water, embossing powder, and making messes. So today's technique I just wanted to show you is this fabulous little splatter. Do you see that fabulous background where there's just splatter everywhere of that amazing gold? It's almost like you just dripped like molten gold and silver all over your project. So super, super fabulous. Of course, this is one of those techniques that um, no two are going to come out alike. As you can see, those two look different. And then I also have another one over here uh, that I did that you can see the there's a little bit more splatter and smear down there and um, just like little flecks all over. So let's get started on how I did this. I'm going to bring in a piece of um, scrap paper here just so that uh, it can pick up some of our mess and it makes cleanup a little bit better. So here I have a piece of elegant eggplant and I have my aqua painter. So this, instead of using ink to create the splatter with Versamark for our heat embossing, we're actually going to use water. So what I'm going to do, there's a couple different ways that you can do this for various looks. Um, and again, sometimes it comes out one way, sometimes it comes out another. You can either squeeze your aqua painter and just drip it all over. You can also sort of like hit it on your finger to try to do that, that splatter. So I'm just going to squeeze my aqua painter, oh, and there's one drip, and just start kind of shaking it and dripping all over. So this one looks like it might be a little bit more drippy and a little less splattery. Okay, so there's a few more splatters going in. So now you can see, let's see, hopefully you can see that. See all of those, like there's the big splatters that you can see there, but then there's also little wispy splatters. So now I'm just going to take my gold embossing powder and I'm just going to pour it right on top. So now it's just going to move it all around over those drips. I will say be careful if the drip is really large, um, not to make it um, like pool and smear, if that makes sense. Um, like you'll see there's like a big drip like right there. And so you don't really want to like super knock on the paper or otherwise it's going to end up with like a, a smear. So you kind of want to keep the drip contained and maybe keep moving it around so that it doesn't drip in one direction. So there, now you can see there is so much more embossing powder on there in all these other little spots. So I'm going to move this aside and then now I'm going to use my heat embossing tool to heat emboss it. So a couple tricks because it's so hard to sort of heat emboss while, um, while trying to talk. A couple things you'll also notice, and I'll try to point it out um, on camera, you'll notice that the drips, because the water is underneath, it'll like move around. So I tend to do a little heating, move away, do a little heating, move away, and sort of allow it to dry and soak into the paper while I'm also heating it and evaporating that excess water just so that I don't end up with like a bubble or a smear or like it pushes um, around but you'll really get to see that so I'm going to zoom in and grab my heat embossing tool Okay, so you'll notice that this one takes a little longer to dry due to that water uh, whenever it's you're actually heat embossing. So the fewer drips, the faster it'll go and like the less um, water in each drip. But now you can see there's actually, you know, a lot of drips like all around in here as well as all six of those. Doesn't that almost look like a constellation or something like that? So of course each one's going to come out differently and then sometimes it's hard to figure out 
where you're going to put your um, your greeting or your image uh, because then that means you have to actually cover some of it up. So you can see I did two of the big splatters down here and then there's some splatters up here. This one I had a little bit more of a difficult time since my square in the center is so large. Um, I ended up covering up a really big one like right here. Um, so I just have a little bit coming out over here. So um, when doing this one again, I'll probably try to focus my drips a little bit more on um, the outside now that I know what my center focal point is going to be. So that's just a super fun way to use embossing powder. Um, if for some reason you can't find your Versamark ink or um, you know you just don't have it handy or something, then you can always use water to do splatters and fun things with um, your your aqua painter. You could also do stripes or any sort of images that you wish to do that are a little bit more like uh, freehand. I'm not a huge fan of freehand. I feel like it's, I criticize it too much whenever I try to do it. Um, but that's just a fun way to use your aqua painter um, as a way to add embossing powder to your project. I hope you enjoyed this little technique for Technique Tuesday. Be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check out all the details on these and the um, items that I used. I used the Cake Soiree stamp set and coordinating sweet cake framelits for this one from the Occasions mini catalog and the Epic Celebrations um, for this one which is one of the celebration items. So don't forget there's still a few weeks left to get some celebration items for free and enjoy that with every $50 order. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. You can subscribe by clicking down here and you can check out some of my other Technique Tuesday videos over here. I'll see you guys all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.